Hi everyone. In this lecture, we're going to call the Postgres stored procedure using SQL Alchemy ORM. So first things first, we need to insert some data. So I'm just going to copy those and I'm going to put them here and I'm going to save them. So we have imported these. We have already done this like a thousand times. We create our engine, we pass in the criteria, and then we also say declarative base and reflect uh, using the reflect method, we add it to the metadata. Now I'm going to create a class and I'm going to say sale. Let's pass in the base with capital B. And then I'm going to say table, table name. Now I'm going to like pause in pause here for like a couple of seconds because something just entered my mind and that is you might be thinking okay you're rushing through these lectures i'm not actually rushing if you take a look at our previous lectures like starting the sequel we have like even we even have lectures which are 25 minutes which is not like the common format or common length not format common length for a tutorial video 25 minutes, 20 minutes, 16 minutes. We do have a lot of those in this chapter as well, in this Postgres chapter. The reason that I seem that I'm rushing, or honestly, I am rushing, is that we have talked about this a lot. And I just want to get to the good stuff, to the stuff that you have not seen before. So what is the point of me like repeating and repeating and wasting your time? That's that's what I'm actually saying. So on the same note, what I am going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and type everything out just to seem less of a rush. So metadata dot tables, make sure it is tables and I'm going to pass in sale. From there, let's create the representation. So I'm going to say def repr. Let's pass in self. In one of the previous lectures, I forgot to provide this uh, colon. And this S for tables and this colon, there were actually two errors. So I'm just going to make sure I do provide that. I'm going to say return. Let's say, uh, let's open this up and close it as well. So this is sale. Uh, we have within the sale, you know what? I'm just going to grab the order. So first off, we are going to provide the order number. And from there, we are going to provide the, the order. What is the next one? The next one is the order type. From there, I'm going to provide the customer name, the product name, and the quantity. So let's copy those. Let's provide them here. And eventually, I'm just going to provide the order total. So I'm just going to copy that. Let's just, just copy it and let's just put it here. Now there is an error and that is I think I need to provide that here. And let's close these. Perfect. I think the error is gone. So this, this is going to start there and I think it ends right here. That's why there was an error. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is, so this is the string representation of it. And I'm going to say dot format. What do we want to format? We want to format self dot uh, order num, order, uh, let's grab number. And I'm going to say self dot uh, order type, customer name, product name. So I could just provide them here. Order type, customer name, product name, and finally order total. These are everything that we've been doing so far. So that's about that. Do we have any errors so far? No, I don't see any errors. Hopefully there are none. So finally, we need to call that. So we are going to say if uh, name is equal to double uh, equals. I did have one error for that as well. So I'm just making sure there is not any more. We are going to say with engine dot connect here it is as connection we are going to grab our connection now just indentation make sure the indentation is correct dot execute we're going to say commit so it looks a lot like what we had before and i'm going to say connection dot execute Let's just call that. 
So we are going to say call uh, return none dis discounted discounted item and let's pass in that placeholders as there we go and if finally what is the order id or the order number the order number is 1105910 and how many times we want to reduce it let's say five times just save that and let's come here i'm going to copy the name from here so it's 11 let's just copy it provide it here let's say python 11 just go to the end of the line dot pi perfect so there is no error and keep in mind we reduced it by how many items by five so five items have to be reduced from it and if i call it again 17 minus 5 we got 12 and 3 23 minus uh how many like 5 5 that is 55 9 that's 45 that's 95 so 95 minus this this 323 minus 95 we get 228 so uh with this this le lecture and this chapter is going to come to an end and um looking back at this course at this sql course i never thought i would uh, cover so much because this is actually like a small course within another course i intend to provide a lot more courses within this course so this is like i don't know like so many course bundles within one course so many courses bundled within one course and your next stop you're going to have the html5 course then essentials course then the css3 essentials course then um we are going to talk about gui a lot of a lot more content i'm not you can take a look at the curriculum and you'll know what we are actually going to cover so uh it did went beyond my expectations i didn't want to cover so much because uh, sql is a very very huge language and covering it within the context of another course is well beyond the con well beyond the scope of that containing course like that outer scope so but i i hope you have learned a lot i'm sure you are going to you have learned a lot now uh, not only you know sql how sql what sql is how you can work with it sql uh, not only you know that you know how to, how to write queries how to inst how to work with mysql you know how to work with sqlite we also had a GUI for SQLite as well when we talked about SQLite. I think we did. It was SQLite DB browser, something like that. It was way be it was like a thousand years ago. Now looking at looking back at it. Because we have covered like literally a ton of content. There is a lot of content so far, and there is much more coming in our upcoming chapters. That's why this course um is called bootcamp. It is it truly is a bootcamp. There is like bootcamp content in here and with these three chapters what i wanted to do was i wanted to make sure that you understand sql in a context so like an implementation of sql be that uh, mysql or anything else so when you understand sql you can implement it in any context that you want be that sqlite mysql or postgres and then one of the major ideas one of the major concepts or tools object relational mappers uh, sql alchemy the most important one the most famous one which abstracts a lot of stuff away it does bring some compli complications or complexity the better word complexity to to our databases but it does abstract away the sql and it brings uh, brings uh, um, brings out the python in our applications so now you know how you can go about it you can work with sqlite you can work with MySQL, you can work with Postgres, all three of them basically or essentially do the same thing in one way or another, like some do better, some do a better job, some do like not so better. Uh, but keep in mind that MySQL is going to be the most popular implementation of it, implementation of SQL. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, actually there is going to be a one challenge for you to do. And that challenge is going to be like, I think it is going to be, I haven't created it yet. 
Uh, actually, after I, I wrap this lecture up, I'm going to create it. But most likely, it is going to resemble the challenges that you've had for your previous two chapters. You're going to have you're going to have to create a database in one way or another, and provide tables and rows and that sort of things. So see you in the next lecture, which is going to be the end. And I hope uh, that you have enjoyed everything so far, because there is a lot more coming. See you then.